This is episode 48 of the Christian Travelers Network. Today we're going to be talking about the Last Supper. Welcome to the Christian Travelers Network, where travel stories, community, and scripture combine. Hey, Christian Travelers, if you have been following along with us this month, we have been going through some devotional series this month, trying to prepare our hearts for Easter and ultimately for Jesus' coming. And a lot of that has been reflecting upon Jesus' ministry, Jesus' time in the wilderness, our sinful nature and forgiveness, and now we're going to be looking at the Last Supper. And the reason that we're doing this this month is to really encourage us not to just travel and enjoy talking about all these amazing things that others get to see and witness when they travel, but also to be spending time in God's word because that is just as important as seeing the amazing things that he has created. So if you haven't been following along, each week I am giving you a section that I encourage you to read and you don't have to do it all in one sitting. You have about a week before the next podcast comes out. So during that week, I am encouraging you to take some time to read and maybe even read it more than once and just spend some time listening to what God has to say to you, what really is standing out to you, and then reflecting on what that really means as a traveler in our lives. So without further ado, today we're going to be looking at John 13, 1 to 14, 31. And if you want to flip there, awesome. I am going to try and stay as elusive as possible so that you feel inclined to read this section, but also give you enough nuggets of wisdom to maybe help you process this on a deeper level. Before I do dive into that, I want to once again point you to our website, christiantravelers.net. There you'll find links to our Facebook, our Instagram, some of our faith and travel resources, which are ebooks, our newsletter things like that. I also send out our newsletter every two weeks where I share our latest podcast episodes and I also am sharing information about my journey of starting to add more services to our podcast, which would include travel booking and hosting retreats where we can connect as Christian travelers and encourage one another while also exploring a city. So again, we are reading John 13, 1 to 14, 31. This is the Last Supper. Oftentimes, you can think of the fun little picture of all of the disciples eating together. It is referring to the Last Supper and how, and the Last Supper is happening during the season of the Passover, which if you don't know that story, that is in the book of Exodus when uh, the Israelites left Egypt trying to flee from the Pharaoh's rule. And during that time, uh, there were 10 different plagues and they were told to paint on their walls the blood of the lamb. They would slaughter a lamb and paint on their walls uh, this blood around their door frame so that when God came through the city, he didn't kill their oldest child, their firstborn. And this happened. The Pharaoh lost his oldest son. And that night, a lot of them had a feast with unleavened bread, um, which is those wafers you have during communion. And they had wine, which was the rep- it was Jesus' blood as we know it in the New Testament, but then it was just kind of this sacrifice, sacrificial meal. Um, and so it has been celebrated by the Jews for generations. And now Jesus is eating it with his disciples. And as he gets to this situation, I, I mean, he has been implying in all of the gospels that he is going to die. And everyone's just kind of like, uh, what? And he says someone's going to betray him. And they're like, we'd never do that. And he calls out Peter, who's going to deny that um, he even follows Jesus, that he's even a disciple, which does end up happening. But we're focusing on the Last Supper, and at this point, there's a lot going on in these verses, and there's a lot that we could point out to you, but I really want to focus on specifically John 13, 1 through 20, because this is where, even though Jesus is about to die, 
he takes some time to wash the disciples' feet because they are bickering between themselves about who's going to be the greatest and who's going to be the best of all. And yet, right now, even though he has the Holy Spirit with him, he's been baptized and he's doing his ministry and he's about to die, rather than doing all these things that I think us travelers would be so tempted to do, we'd be like, oh my gosh, I have these many things on my bucket list, and I gotta go do this, and I want to see that, and I'm gonna take my family with me because I want to spend time with them, and like, there would just be a million things that we'd be tempted to do. Instead, he's like, I'm just gonna hang out with my disciples, and I'm gonna wash their feet and be a servant to them, and model for them what it means to be a leader. Like, that is such a countercultural way of being a leader, being so humble that you'll do this job that like a servant is meant to do and be this example for them. I want you to read the this whole passage to read about this confusion among the disciples because they don't get it. They don't understand that Jesus is going to die on the cross that they and they want to be these amazing leaders and they think that just being the greatest is doing these great things and just showing off. And I want you to identify in here what it strikes you as like, okay, God, that one was a little, like, I can relate to that disciple or I, I would struggle with doing that. And I just want you to take some time to recognize those things. And then I want you to also go, what would you actually do if you only had a few days left to live? If you knew that your time was coming and then compare it to what Christ did, how is that radically different or similar? If you are washing people's feet when that is your goal in your last few days, good for you. I don't feel like I have that humble of a heart. Jump into our Facebook group because this discussion is great. It's great that you pour over it and take time to meditate on it this week. But jump into our Facebook group, find this podcast posting, and then comment below all of the things that really have stuck out to you, all of the things that you're wrestling with, all of the things that you would want to do with your last day, and does this convict you of anything that Jesus washed his servant's feet? Again, this episode is very short. And that is because I want you to be spending time in God's word, preparing your heart and your mind for Easter. And just know that um, as travelers, part of it is getting to hear on this podcast how we get to connect and what other people get to see and how God has worked in amazing ways. That is incredibly valuable. But it's also awesome when we get to pour into each other. And that is what I really want us to be working on this month as we join in discussion on Facebook and on Instagram and on our website as well. So until next time, safe travels and God bless.